Hey guys. Yeah. What's happening? Oh boy. I have to change a setting in here. I just realized I'm listening to this and realizing that I I cranked up the um what is it called? <laughs> I cranked up the uh, fidelity. No, buffer size. Um, so I'm a little like you can see, you see that latency. Anyway, um, just working at working with uh, New Ableton and uh, playing around with a bunch of plugins. So I I cranked up the that up so that I could do more stuff. Um, I found out that the the um, the nature sounds things that I was talking about, the, the tree and the bouncy ball thing, those are not available yet for in the, the beta that they sent out. So that's coming soon. Oh, you guys heard the Deftones remix. Nice. I did a remix for Deftones, uh, White Pony 20th anniversary called Black Stallion. My remix is not called Black Stallion. It, the remix album is called Black Stallion. But uh yeah, I did a I did a super awesome remix, bro. It was great, bro. I see you guys are using your BTTV emotes. Solid. Good job, bro. Um I had fun with it. Did it all in Ableton which I didn't, I don't usually do stuff all the way down, all the way through in Ableton, except for drop frames. Um, yeah, so go on your, uh, you know, streaming digital service provider of choice, your Apple Music or your Spotify or whatever. I realized the other day that um, I, uh, that I, Streaming in the mornings, I'm slow, like my brain is slower in the mornings. <laughs> I was like, well, I feel like if I was to stream at like three in the afternoon, I would be like way sharper, but whatever, it's all good. Um, I do not want to stream at that time. It would like totally break up my day into whatever. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so today we have a bowl of destiny, uh, it's a bowl of destiny fan, fan request day. We have Zor, a, the three requests were Zorba's dance, where it starts slow and gets faster. We have a request for a percussion only track, and we have a request for aggressive video game music slash battle theme. So we're going to do a percussive track today. I'm going to do a combination of live drum pieces and um, and sample drums. Um, I just put I just made this little thing to start the stream off with. <laughs> this has nothing to this, this our thing today has nothing to do with this. It has nothing to do with it. You know? up really okay okay um interesting oh here we go
Fun. Um, I'm going to go in the other room, and I'm going to um, start to. Um, fun. I'm going to start messing around with this thing. Ooh. Weird. It got weird. <laughs> what have I done? I did something weird with it. Sorry, I'm just geeking out over this. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna go in the other room. I'm gonna turn on these mics. I'm gonna mess around with, uh, I don't know what we'll do. I think first things first, I gotta get a, um, I've gotta establish our slow to fast. Um, oh shit, you know what I didn't do? I get, while I do that, I gotta switch our, um, switch that, that buffer size. Um, so I'm gonna do that. You're gonna hear a little pop, and then I'll go in the other room and handle and get started. Okay, good. Um, I can kind of. Uh, okay, yeah, hi. You can hear me, right? That's good. That's good. Um, so let's do. I gotta turn on this other mic. Um, I think the first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna move this, this screen. I think the first thing I want to do is establish the, the tempo ramp thing. And, um, yeah. So the way we're going to do that is right here. Let me see. Um, oh, this isn't showing volume. Switching microphones to this one right here. So, um, the uh, request is to do a um, like a, a tempo thing, like a like a song that starts with a slower tempo and gets like faster and faster. I was thinking this little drum. I think I used this on um, Blackout. Was a that whole thing. Um, but I was thinking, since we're doing an all percussive track, that'd be a good way to start, I think. or anything. 
Um, and I'm just gonna have to loop mode. And then turn this guy off. So I recorded like a little idea in my phone of what I wanted it to be. So let me listen to that. This is what the phone said. Okay, so it's, it started with this. Okay, this is gonna be interesting, but I'll go for it anyway. So, here we go. I think it went too fast, so let me do that again. I think I want to put it on the grid. I think I want that to be on the grid. Um, I'm going to grab, I have a stool out here. I'm going to sit down and check this out a little bit. Got my headphones. Got my little stool. How can I? Can I hear myself? Oh, there. Hi, that's me. Wait, hold on. That's me? That's me. Wait, why is this on no matter what? That's super weird. Oh, it's because it's a wrong. Hold on. Hello? Hold on. Watch this. Hi. Now I'm on the right mic. Oh, well, that's funny. Um, I did that. Um, let's see. I want to show you what I was thinking here, how to do this. Um, let me just choose screen. Hold on a second. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna use that, that track that I just made as like the um, the how do I explain it? Like that's gonna be the that's gonna be the the track to um to go to like match everything else to. Hold on, can I just put this down and you can hear me? You can't really hear me. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna basically take this track here. And I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn warp off. So I'm gonna try and make our click track match what I just played, okay? And then once that's done, I can um, put everything on the grid from there out. This is a tricky little move, but I, the reason I'm gonna do this is it's gonna, um, it's gonna allow the like natural feel of what I played to dictate the general tempo. And then once I've got that, I can repeat parts of that tempo phrase 
and stay on. So let's say it goes from, I don't know what, like 80 beats per minute to like 130. Then the, the 80 part, I can stay at 80 longer if I want. And then the, the fa going faster part, I can go with it and I can copy and paste the 130 part if I want. Um, cause I think it kind of like starts at a st static tempo and then ramps up, ramps up. And at the very end, it might stay at that top tempo for a second. Uh, let's try it though. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn on the click and I'm going to find the tempo. And now keep in mind this, this track right here, since warp is off, the tempo is not gonna, um, it's not going to like be on, the click is not going to be on with the thing I played. <laughs> So yeah, just like any other automation, you click up here for automation and down here on the master uh, fader, you got a song tempo. Right now, it's at, what was it, 175. Wait, what? Why don't I go half that many? I sped up as fast as 94 here, and then I went back down to 90. I'm gonna see if I can just get rid of that, and get the quick and the and the thing are gonna like drift. But let's see if I can even it out here. Lots of inconsistency there. Um, let me just, uh, let me figure it out. Okay, so I think I've got to take it, like, I think I've got to stay, I think then at that point I have to, um, I have to cut up the, uh, the audio, because it says, 
<laughs> when it gets to this part where it goes bum 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 bum, it's it's I went too way too slow. <laughs> Okay, now let's do the same thing with, let's do a little uh, tempo warping on the rest of it and then we're, we're good to go. So since this, since this is now put warp markers, you see all these yellow bits? All these, all these warp markers are gonna help keep that where uh, locked to whatever tempo I choose so I can now smooth out this tempo and make it not do exactly make it be a little more of a gradual uh, build and then and then I can start playing along to it How you guys feel? Think we're ready? Henry is using that post-it note. Um, yeah, leave the damn chair alone, you guys. You guys are harassing the chair. Don't harass the chair. I'll fix that camera angle. Um, let's let's do it. We can do that. We can we can change it to. Um, show where I'm at right now. There we go. Okay. I fixed it. Ta-da. Oh, but now you're seeing yourselves. So, um, oh, that's actually a good question. Um, should I do um, like a bass drum thing? Should I do a bass drum thing or should I do like high, high or low sound next? <laughs> I think that drum is called it's a Turkish um what is this thing called it's a Turkish drum no is it not I forget the name of that 
Uh, yeah, let's do the low. Let's do the low something. Oh, blurry. What happened? Weird. Why is my hair like flat? If I, what if I just buzzed it into like a flat top? Like a, like Biff. Didn't Biff from um, Back to the Future have like a full on like flat top? Dar Darbuka is the name of the drum. Thank you. Is it is it Turkish? What's what is that drum? <laughs> I would not do a flat top. Oh God, no. Moroccan. Oh, the company is Turkish, but the drum is Moroccan. Tight. All right. Um, I want to do. I want to do a big like bass drum thing, but this is gonna be funny because, um, basically. <laughs> I'm gonna like, I'm gonna move this mic and move this camera. I'm gonna just do it right here. I'm gonna put it right here, like on the floor, basically. So check this out. Can you hear me? I'm gonna put this thing down lower, I think. Lower? Should I do it lower? Okay. Maybe I could put it on the piano then. Let's see if this works. Let's see what this does. So this is a kick from a um Actually, all right. We're going to do that. I brought some different sticks. And let's find out which one has a good sound. I actually don't have any idea which is gonna be the one. Um, also, I don't wanna have that, this cord touching the, the mic. Okay, so this is just regular. click to it because these are hitting each other. That's kind of nice. And then if we want it to be softer, let's see what happens here. Oh, that's kind of good.
advantage, yes. I can, I can actually, what's nice is now I can uh, save that take for the first half of it and do the new take.
Hi. So I'm thinking, so far we've got our, um, like, it's the build. The build thing has happened. Um, we, I think it needs like a, um, like a theme now or something. Like, it's just the, the beginning part. It's like, it's like just the ramp, tempo ramp part, just the bit, this, the, uh, the, you know, slow to fast. So, um, the question now to me is like, okay, what, what kind of fight scene <laughs> we're doing a, we're doing a, um, maybe it needs to have like a new section in the, um, oh, I have an idea. Why don't we put the, there's like two, two or three themes. Why don't we put the ending theme in the, why don't we put the beginning theme, bring the beginning theme back for the ending um, as if there's like a change in pace in the fight. Um, so like, for example, here.
I like when it gets to the ending that it gets sloppier. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't sound crazy. Um, how about the um, these little Timbali things? Um, let's try that. Maybe it'll add some uh, like note, kind of kind of like a like a melody to it or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Um, here we go. Okay, so we've got the U47 on these guys. And I kept the room, I put the room mic on um, to get some of that room. I noticed we're basically, we're all mono up until this point. So let's see what happens if I, I'm just gonna loop the big, the whole thing real quick here. Let's see if I, what happens.
Hi. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a, um, I'm going to put a pretty serious, I'm going to put a serious compressor on the, um, the room mics. It helps just make the room stuff feel bigger. And I don't really have anything on it right now. Um, for this one, I am going to use the UA, use an LA-2A on it. So you can tell that my, that my mic volume on this this blue track is like crazy low. Um, I'm actually just going to grab it and turn it up. So you can now you can see where it's hitting. Um, that's already like 20 dB louder. Um, now it's really stereo. You can hear the. You can see it hitting the the compressor up here. Okay, so uh, that's where we're at right now. Um, what about what about some symbols? What about some symbols? Let's do that. Um, these might I don't know if this is gonna work because these might be too um, too like rock drum kit ish. Um, let me just check. I don't remember which mic we're. Six, five, six. Um, the yeah. So I don't know if that's like if this is gonna work, but um, I'll do my best, and um, we'll see what happens here. Probably have to turn this guy. Hi. Um, so I think I'm going to do uh, mostly like symbols here. Um, I think that's the that's the thing. Um, just trying to get this so you can see things and. Uh,
Alright. So, did some very questionable sim symbol work there. I think it'll actually be fine. That's all right. I like that right there. Should we add some tambourine to it? Is that too chill? What if it's a really like loud and obnoxious tambourine? <laughs> I don't know what that means. loved that part with the whole box of stuff that added something to it. I'm going to do just tambourines at the end, though.